I'm so excited. Okay, this is so exciting. And Instagram is working. Okay, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am that this is working because it's been such a pain for the last couple weeks. Okay. Hello, everyone. How is everyone today? It is Friday. Hello. I think I think it's pretty late in some parts of the world, so I understand if you want to duck out. I, I will post this on the... Um, in the live story for 24 hours. You can always watch later. And it'll also go up on YouTube. Unfortunately, it's going to be in um, portrait mode. But if you watch it on your mobile device in full screen, it, it looks just fine. So let's talk about ink. Oh, yeah. Um, I like to use this Sailor 1911 large fresca blue uh, with the music nib for playing with inks because it just shows it off really well. So that's what we have. I'm going to probably shouldn't. Probably should grab a paper towel before I ink. Okay. <laughs> 2 a.m. there, yeah. I, um, that's pretty late. Although there are, yeah, you could be sleeping. That's, an, that's another option. Uh, this is the Sailor Nano Pigmented Blue Black Ink. It's, um, Seiboku or Saiboku. I'm not sure how to pronounce it for sure, but I would, I guess I would say Saiboku. Um, this is what it looks like wet. So it's a very beautiful blue. Like this is my kind of blue. It's like, it's almost a turquoise when it's wet. It's really nice. Now, as you know, the Sailor flat bottles come with the little cups. Here's the little cup in here. I, uh, I really hate, <laughs> really hate these things. Um, so this is a, not a huge nib and it does fit into it but it always drives me insane. So let's ink this up. I probably should have inked this up beforehand, but I was so excited that I didn't. Okay, this is not, one sec. This is my issue with the, the cup. It, it's always a, a bit of a hassle to ink. This is why I should. And the thing is, the idea is it's supposed to make it easier to ink because you're supposed to have, this is not working. You're supposed to have um, a little cup that holds the ink. So I'm going to turn, <laughs> the cup is the worst. Yes. And I'm going to turn it and fill the cup a bit. My bottle's getting a bit low. So it's also probably not really helping my situation here. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Listen, if you're going to buy a Sailor ink, which I absolutely love, the first thing you do is take out the cup and that's fine. And then you use the cup for adorable little props. Look how beautiful the nib looks with the ink on it. Yeah, so the cup makes like a perfect little prop. If you happen to have kids who like to have tea parties or um, if you have stuffed toys like Lord Windermere. <laughs> they are awful. Yes, they are awful. If you have really small pens and small nibs, you don't really notice it. But if you have like a fatty McFatster nib, you're going to have issues. Okay. Uh, did I miss a question? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yes. Okay, Stephen has answered. Thank you, SBRA Brown. Uh, okay, so the notebook I'm using is the Midori MD B6 Slim Gridded. If you've watched these videos, you've seen me use it before. It's just a really nice notebook. I like that it's not super wide, so it's very, I find it very portable, portable and convenient to use. So this was a previous endeavor that was with the Ackerman Dutch Masters. Look how pretty it's become, though. Oh, yes, yes, it's so nice. Oh, and the paint. Okay, let's get going. <clears throat> How is everyone's Friday? Is it magnificent? I hope so. Oh man, this is just so good. Okay, so watch how the ink, oh, that was my error, sorry. Watch how the ink changes as it dries. And the thing is, it's not an iron gall ink and iron gall inks, they typically, um, they usually darken on the page. And this one does as well, but it's, it's just a really beautiful color. I'm, I'm being quiet so you can hear the sound of the writing if possible. It has just the perfect flow. It's it's um it's on the wetter side, but it um it's not like a super wet gushy writer or ink, 
which I like. So the drying times are not excessively long. You probably know that Sailor makes a whole bunch of um, pigmented inks. They have the Storia lineup, which is like the the little bottles with the, the frosted and um, like circus themes. There's like the balloon, <clears throat> there's lion, um, like magical night and stuff. They're very nice colors. They're sort of muted. So if you don't want like a, like, well, like the, the yellow and the greens and stuff, they're bright, but they're not um, like fluorescent. So they are like, they're kind of like a muted, it's almost like a dusty look, which I, which I seem to associate with pigmented inks. Is this a gentle ink? Um, well, I know that they have... This is in their regular lineup, so I think it's actually just part of their, um, like, their standard series. Because, like, with the blue and the black, the gentle and the four seasons are, kind of, are sort of seasonal, so... Or not seasonal. Yeah, like, they release them every couple years, so I guess it's kind of seasonal. They're really nice, though. Um, they also come in cartridges if you if you have to resort to cartridges for whatever reason. That's okay. That's okay if you need to use cartridges. Sometimes I use cartridges, too. But isn't it just a beautiful color? Oh, I love it. So this is what I mean. It kind of gets, like, when it's dried... <coughs> sorry. When it's dried, it kind of gets um, like a matte look to it. Uh, what nib is it? This is the music nib. The Sailor 1911 Large Music Nib. I highly recommend everybody owns at least one music nib. Just because they're great. Really nice stub writers. Um, they're <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at the Mill Cuckfield comments here. Uh, really nice stub writers. They're... Um, give some nice line variation. Very forgiving. Like, they're not really crisp. Yes, absolutely. Music nibs all the way. This one has a bit of feedback that you could probably hear, but it's not scratchy at all. It's just perfection. Okay, so this notebook is the Midori... The... Um, yeah, I really like this ink. It's just a really nice color. So when I was trying to pick an ink for today, um, I just I was thinking of something that you don't really see like a lot. Not a lot of people talk about um, the Sailor pigmented inks. One day I'll have to do the black one because the black one is my other favorite. It's really nice. So they make a black and the and this is the blue black as well, along with the the whole Storia lineup, which is a whole bunch of like fun colors if you're not really into, you know, black and blue black. Although there is a blue black in there as well. It's kind of like a twilight. It's really nice. Pigmented. I never know what these bottles say though. Like I'm guessing this is blue black. I don't know what this means. It's nice that they do put the uh, ink name on this particular... Oh, sorry, you can't read that. That they do put the ink name on here. Um, on the Gentle bottles and the Four Seasons bottles, it's kind of like a guessing game. I never know what they are. Because they just put like a little like a sticker on there. Everyone is so quiet. Awfully quiet. And it's a Friday. You're supposed to all be relaxing and having a good time. Okay, let's take a look at this a little closer. Ooh, an excellent question. What is your favorite blue-black? You're the only allowed one. That's really nice. Okay, let's turn the page. Thing is, I can't tell if Instagram is cooperating or not, or if everyone's just really quiet and bored. Aurora Blue Black. Oh, I haven't used that one. I know. I know, it's an atrocity. Diamond Twilight. What is the difference between a music nib and a stub nib? Well, this one is actually called a music stub nib. Typically, um, 
historically, music nibs had two slits and three tines, and that that it was it was still a stub shape. So, oh, I'm gonna try to draw this. I've drawn this before, and it's always turned out like a disaster. So, this is what a vintage nib used to look like, and platinum has reproduced uh, the music nib. They also have two slits and three tines. Same with the Pilot music nib. And um, the modern Franklin Christoph music nib also has two slits and three tines. Uh, Sailor has produced one with one slit and two tines. And all of these have a stub shape. It's just that the music is defined, like the music nib is defined by its wetness and its uh, ability to put down like a really like a wet flow. Because the idea was that it's supposed to be able to keep up with your music note drawings that was horrible sorry um did i get distracted yes what was the question again what's the difference between a music nib and a stub nib sorry so many math questions um yes so it's sort of like this a music nib is a stub because of its shape so you have broad downstrokes and thinner cross strokes and it's a stub and not an italic because it's smoother on the edges. So like if I were to do this with an italic nib, it would be, sorry, if I were to do this with an italic nib, it would be like really crisp. And um, a stub nib is not necessarily always a music nib. So I know that's kind of confusing. Um, it's, it's, it's that the music is a stub because of the shape and how it functions. And a stub is not a music because it is not, it does in this case uh this only has one slit and two tines but a stub nib typically does not have um two slits and three tines the I, I sailor was really proud of the fact that they were able to produce a music nib with only one slit and two tines that was still able to write as wet and as stubby as uh the two slit three tine music nibs and i have used the other ones i have used the platinum music nib and um the pilot as well I really love the Sailor one. I don't know. It's just, I like the writing experience and I also like the models that it's offered on. Yes, the Sailor music only has one slit and um, they've done a good job with it. It it does work. So I cannot complain. I remember most modern music nibs, if not all, no, most are not flexible. Just because it's uh, 21 karat gold does not mean it's flexible. I think my pen is running a little dry here. You read somewhere that the depth is blue black was that it writes blue and dries up to look black. Oh, that makes sense. Um, or the other way around. I would think it writes blue and dries up a bit blue black because I'm thinking to the blue blacks I have used. And that would apply, especially in this case. This one definitely comes out like a a wetter. Oh my god, I'm definitely running low on ink. Sorry? Um, yeah, Iron Gall does that too, but this is not Iron Gall. This is pig. Oh, I'm definitely dry. Sorry, guys. Let me just re-ink. I'll just dip here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just dipping because I'm too lazy to wrestle with the cup, which I haven't taken out yet. It's such a be So this is definitely blue, and as it dries, it becomes more of a, like a muted blue. I'm sorry, Tana. The best factory stub I have ever used. Um, in a pen that's actually available nowadays, best factory stub. I'm trying not to think of anything discontinued or that's really hard to... Really hard to get. It's really hard to go wrong with this music nib. Um, it is a music stub nib. And it, it's very smooth, very pleasant. It's, it's wet. So I really like that. Yes, we carry a ton of Sailor. It's so awesome. Which is great because Sailor is great. The Twisby stubs are also nice. Um, I like, if you are going to go for one, my preference would be the 1.1 millimeter. I don't even know if they um, frequently make the 1.5 anymore. I wonder if they discontinued that. But the 1.1 is great because it keeps up well with ink demands. And um, it's, some of them are, sometimes they're slightly springy depending on the model. So it's, it's very pleasant. It's very nice uh, nib. Hello, Sailor. Oh, 
Okay. Anyway, I have raved about <laughs> Sailor. I really like Sailor. It's just, it's just a really solid pen. Great writers. One point five is not available in the production line. Yes, yes. It's been a while since I've um, bought a new Sailor. Uh, sorry, bought a new Twisby. So I haven't checked into that for a while. The last one I bought was actually a one point five. That was years ago. Say Boku and the Midori. MD notebook in B6. Slim. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Just love it. So nice. People, sometimes people ask me like what they can do to um, show off their ink more, like better shading, more sheen. Change your nib. So any sheen on this one? Um, you know what? There is a little bit. Let me see if I can show it um, on the bottom of the L there. It is a dark blue sheen, so it kind of shows up as just like extra saturation. But if you're looking for a really highly popping sheen ink, this one is not it. It is there, but um, it doesn't like glow on the page. Which is better, the Twisby Mini or Pilot Pereira for a stub? Um, hmm... Twisby Mini or Pilot Pereira. You know, I have the <clears throat> sorry, I have the Pilot Stub Nib, and I I really like it because it's sort of crisp. There we go. All right, I shall wrap up. I hope this was useful. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed some inky fun, and um, I will thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next week. If you are inky and playing around, make sure you tag us so we can see what you're doing. Anderson Pens. Bye. See you guys later.